Hey everybody, so I'm in the backyard right now and um, I'm doing something that I really didn't want to be doing this weekend, but my Orica palms, uh, they started dying. The, the tops of them would just fall right off. Um, and uh, with some Googling and whatnot, I found out that it could be cause of Ganoderma. Ganoderma is a fungus. It's a fungus uh, that actually penetrates in the middle of the stalk. Um, and then how do you know if you have Ganoderma? Well, these uh, mushroom-like growths will happen and they'll be happening at the base the base of the tree um they're brown on the top they're kind of white on the underside and for them to get this big i think they probably have been having to be growing for quite some time so i think that my areca palms have really been diseased for quite some time now these little suckers uh, apparently what will happen is on the underside they'll drop spores and those spores will then move on uh, with the wind or the water they'll move on to the next tree so I've got three here that are infected. I'm going to take them out. Oh, I got like one day to do it uh, because I've got a row of arecas here next to them that I hope don't catch it. So uh, this is what it looks like. You'll notice that there's uh, some brown spots. There's going to be really brittle. Thank you, Sam. Come on up with me. There's going to be some really brittle stalks. Uh, you see these stalks are ones that haven't even really matured yet, but it, they just fall right off or crumble. Now, again, derma fungus lives inside, and you see how there's this white, zoom in on that, buddy. You see how there's this white stuff on the outside of the uh, stalk? That's because the fungus is actually permeating from the inside going out. At least that's what I understand it to be doing. Uh, and then look at how easily that just popped right off. So the inside gets like mush. You can't really tell from the outside because the outside's still hard. But as the fungus grows upward, it pushes that white out. And then that white actually starts growing into that um, mushroom-like shelf. Uh, by the way, they call those things conks. They call those shelves conks. Um, you'll also notice the coloring. The coloring will be a dead, mushy center after you pull your stalk down. Uh, and you'll notice that there's some coloring going on in the middle. You see a little, uh, a little uh, trail, if you will, a circle. So it's important that we get these things taken care of. That way they don't spread. Now I'm going to use a plastic bag to put those uh, mushroom type conks in. We don't want to just throw them in the garbage and then uh, through the wind and the environment they spread out. Uh, and you don't want to just throw them in the county landfill because sometimes they use that stuff to mulch and recycle. So we definitely don't want that stuff recycling. All right. That's what it looks like. Hope it helps. Move. 